election day will look different. Nico, I know it's already busy out there too. The Aberdeen precinct is open. It's jumping here at Aberdeen and Hampton. I know Dana, my, my esteemed colleague, is trying to compete, see how many voters she has and how many voters we have. It's a good amount here. They're already inside. It's just good to see so many people out here voting early already. Uh, the polls just open, as we all know. 99, more than 99,000 voters here in the city of Hampton. Of course, everybody wants to be safe and, and wants their vote to count. And they want to make sure everything is done correctly. So the city of Hampton, or not the city of Hampton, actually, but uh, several police departments around Hampton Roads, they're uh, talking about increasing staffing today to make sure they're prepared and respond to any potential issues. You may also see poll watchers at your precinct. These are people with written approval to watch over the voting process, but they're not allowed to assist voters or get close enough to know how you vote. The CDC also has issued safety guidelines for voting during the pandemic. The main ones stay at home if you're sick or if you've recently come in close contact with a person uh, with COVID-19. We spoke with a couple of voters earlier today right before the doors open. I want to vote for these two people here. Who are these people? They're my mother and my father. They passed away, and I'm making sure my vote is here at Aberdeen. And a lot of people died for us to do this. Again, good to see so many people lining up already to vote here in Hampton Roads. Again, wear your mask, social distancing, do everything you need to do to keep yourself safe and voters safe as well. Live in Hampton, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. All right, Nico, and as you just showed us, a lot of people voting for a lot of different reasons. Stay safe out there. Thank you.